What's up guys, I'm Ernest and we're welcoming Spring with a list of 25 games coming this March on the PC, PS4, Xbox One and the Switch. Here they are arranged by release dates and the first game on our list is... Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove. A 25-year-old game makes its comeback with this upcoming fourth entry that hopefully has all of its cartoon silliness intact. Bringing into view the unmistakably 90s aesthetic, take control of their nine playable characters including the iconic Toe Jam and Earl. Refining the quirks of the classic rhythm-based minigames, it's set to release this March 1st. Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. It's an all-new adventure game. Treasure Stack. With Pixel Lake's action game, puzzling doesn't have to be a solo activity. Offering both single-player and multiplayer game modes, it turns the whole relaxing block puzzling on its head. Whether it's four-player couch party competition or online domination, you'll be testing your skills in their frenetic pixel-powered arenas. Find it on the Switch this March 1st. Left Alive. A spiritual successor to Square Enix's lackluster 2010 shooter, Front Mission Evolved, this upcoming title returns to the universe with what most hope will be better writing and improved combat. Judging from its trailers, the game certainly has that AAA look, with its stunning portrayal of a war-torn Novoslava and seemingly branching storylines. Still kind of forgettable and unimpressive, we can't wait to see what you think of it when it releases on the PC and PS4 this March 5th. Maybe we'll get to play again sometime. My Little Riding Champion. All your pony dreams are coming true this March. A casual game that simulates the idyllic equestrian life, My Little Riding Champion has over 15 hours of gameplay spread over its quiet open world. Learn to take care of your beloved horses and conquer the stage in their various competitions. A quiet casual game for the pony enthusiasts on the Switch, it's coming out this March 5th. Total War Three Kingdoms In this coming entry, the Total War series explores the Orient with a fascinating dive into Chinese-style imperialism. There will be 11 factions up for control, each headed by their respective legendary warlords. The Guanxi system of inner relationships will come to play as you conquer with diplomacy and might. A romantic look at a global superpower's history is coming to the PC this March 6th. Now is the time to press the attack. Getting the Azure Dragons firing, and now charging forwards with the Yellow Dragons. Is there a heart beating in that spineless body? Is there a brain inside that cavernous head? These heavy hitting axe units are a formidable foe for anyone they go up against. They will make very short work of these spears. Devil May Cry 5 Eleven years after Devil May Cry 4's release, Capcom's Love Child returns to their critically acclaimed hack and slash. Continuing Nero and Dante's story in the previous game, this will be the first in the series to feature three playable characters with their own unique stories and abilities. An exciting new installment to the demon-slaying hack and slash, you'll find it on the shelves this March 8th. I don't know what I found, but uh, I think I saw some demons dancing. Well, then I guess we keep going. The Devil Sword Sparta is nearby. <gasps> Whoa! 
One Piece World Seeker. An open world One Piece game is just what everyone needs right now. Bandai Namco's take on Ichiro Oda's masterpiece takes you to the great seas of the new world. Enter a whole new story made especially for the game and live it in Luffy's point of view. An open world reunion of your favorite Straw Hat Pirates is set to release on the PC, PS4, and Xbox One this March 15th. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 The virus spreads into the capital in the sequel to Tom Clancy's Outbreak Containment series. This installment offers almost double the content of the original with a 40-hour campaign storyline, three dark zones for all-out 8-player raids, and a free post-launch DLC that includes story missions and upgrades to their PvP mode. Ready your hazmats as it releases on the PC, PS4, and Xbox One on March 15th. The Division 2 is fundamentally an RPG, and that means that the more you progress, the more you're going to grow your character, the more you're going to make decisions about who your character is in terms of uh, build. We're never going to lock you into a specific class. So you always have the choice of changing out your loadouts to do some sort of other uh, profile and working with other players. Because again, this is a cooperative game where you can absolutely play every single activity by yourself or in a group of four. The Caligula Effect Overdose First released on the PS Vita, this Atlas JRPG is coming to new platforms in renewed form. Still covering the same Japanese high school setting, play as a character trapped in a VR program and help them escape the twisted world with their signature dungeon crawling and turn-based combat. Coming packed with new scenes, endings, and a brand new female protagonist, it's a new look at an established universe and it's coming this March 15. The Sinking City Get out of your chanting robes as Frogwares awakens the Lovecraftian master in this latest IP. Sinking into the realm of dreams and nightmares, Sinking City borrows from H.P. Lovecraft's numerous literary contributions to spark death and terror into their great open world. An open world psychological thriller, there's a lot of room for improvement in terms of graphics and animation, but hopefully it gets fixed when it comes out on the PC, PS4 and Xbox One on March 21st. This thick sackcloth is completely soaked with blood. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice While their name will forever be tied to their genre-defying RPGs Bloodborne and Dark Souls, with this latest IP from Software seeks to impress the world with something entirely new. Set in a Sengoku-era Japan, it follows a Sekiro on his journey for vengeance using stealth, prosthetic limbs, and Lazarus-like powers. Compared to their previous hits, this is shaping up to be a more mobile combat experience, possibly sprinkled with the punishing quality of Dark Souls. It's coming out on the PC, PS4, and Xbox One this March 22nd. Deponia. From the makers of Shadow Tactics, Blaze of the Shogun, and Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth, Daedalic Entertainment brings us the first in a series of acclaimed point-and-click puzzles. Centered around Rufus, help him escape the landfills of Deponia and find a way to Elysium. Coming to the Switch on March 23rd. The Princess Guide. Who said princesses can't be knights too? 
From NIS America, this RPG lets you take control of four princesses training to take part in the coming war. With four different princesses, there's also four times the story. Pick from their varying personalities and make choices that'll affect their fates and abilities. Hone your military strategies and make the perfect princess knight when it comes out on the PS4 and the Switch on March 26. Outward. Pouring a huge dose of realism on the otherwise fantastical role-playing genre, Outward is a survival game cloaked in medieval magic. Where food and water are usually compared to strength, skill, and grit, Outward turns them into prerequisites to survival. Sure, there's still epic monster fights and life-threatening battles, the added layer of resource management is a nice and unique touch. It's coming to the PC, PS4, and Xbox One on March 26. This is a game for those who aren't afraid of being vulnerable. For those who want to own up to their mistakes and feel the sting of their failures. Who said that adventuring should be easy? Who said that you, the player, can't do it on your own? Even ordinary people can do extraordinary things. Nelk and the Legendary Alchemist, Ateliers of the New World. Following the Alchemist that came before, the 20th anniversary spin-off brings together all your favorite characters in the innovative city-building adventures of Nelk. Tasked to govern in exchange of fulfilling her alchemical fascinations, build a village into a flourishing town center with the help of the many alchemists in town. Looking back on the series' long history in a fresh way, it's up for a Western release on March 26th. The Lego Movie 2 Video Game this video game adaptation of Warner Brothers' awesome animated comedy is back for more LEGO hijinks. Set after the events of the second movie, Emmett and friends go beyond their world to save their friends from alien monsters. Use the game's signature LEGO building gameplay and be a master builder. Already released on the PC and consoles last February, it's finally releasing on the Switch this March 26. Xenon Racer. If formula racing in the future is what you want, this game will deliver. Another high-speed racing game is coming to the PC and consoles next month, Care of 3D Clouds. A product of an indie studio, they definitely won't skimp on visuals with its smooth frame rates and jaw-dropping graphics. We'll see how it performs on each platform when it comes out on March 26. Planetside Arena Set in the famously massive arenas of the Planetside universe, Planetside Arena takes on a different kind of multiplayer with massive clashes and of course Battle Royale, which offers the same 100-person battle of the fittest. Massive Clashes, on the other hand, is a 1,000-player arena with 500 people on each team. Staying true to their roots, it's coming to the PC on March 26. Windscape Currently on Steam Early Access, Windscape is a gorgeous-looking adventure game that aims to capture the wonders of Nintendo's Legend of Zelda. Play as the mysterious young girl and help her find what's causing her beautiful universe to fall apart. Take on challenging dungeons and bosses in their open world and use the crafting system to make food, create weapons, and so much more. Brimming with potential, its official release will be on March 27th for the Xbox One, Switch, and PC.
There is trash. Where am I? Where is this? Compared. Fun Fun Animal Park. Who doesn't love animals and fun? First release on the Switch exclusively for Japan, Axis Games and Nippon Columbia have teamed up to bring the animal themed video games to the West. Led by Buddy and Lion, get a tour of the animal amusement park with modes like Solo, One Match and Tour. Get it on your Switches this March 28th. Yoshi's Crafted World. Following in the footsteps of Paper Mario, Yoshi lives the colorful paper craft life in this newest title. Developers Goodfield push us into their miniature diorama-like universe with pretty much the same Yoshi activities that we all love. See the world from different perspectives and conquer the spatial challenges by going forwards and backwards through levels. Previously announced to come this spring, Nintendo has recently confirmed release this March 29th. Tropico 6 Step inside the shoes of the benevolent dictator, El Presidente, in this latest installment. Aside from becoming more inclusive with the choice of male or female characters, Tropico 6 also promises bigger landscapes, new roads, infrastructures, and world-renowned tourist spots in their new archipelagic lands. Going through the four different eras and upping the realism with fully simulated citizens, the balance between progress and peace is all the more necessary. It's coming out on the PC this March 29th. Iron Marines From the makers of Kingdom Rush, Ironhide Studios' move to the RTS genre is also making its way from the smartphone to the PC. Taking strategy to new heights, Iron Marines takes out a futuristic dystopia that's wrapped in their signature cartoony art style. Though it's no StarCraft game, their Android and iOS versions were highly praised by critics and gamers for its balanced units, challenging campaigns, and addictive quality. A worthy alternative, it's coming out this March 29th. Steven Universe, Save the Light, OKKO, OK Let's Play Heroes, two games in one. Two of your favorite Cartoon Network series bundled into one. Join in the cartoon fun as you help Steven and Gems in their RPG quests around Earth and the Crystal Worlds, or become the best hero you can be in KO's inspiring beat-em-up storyline. No official release date yet, but it's set to release sometime next month. Before we reveal the last title coming up this March, you can check out the complete list of upcoming games on our website, whattoplay.com. Links in the top right corner and the description box below. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered A re-release to their 2012 title, Ubisoft invites us to look at the American Revolution with new eyes. Centered around the Native American assassin Connor, this remaster hopes to refresh the experience with some visual and mechanical tweaks for its entrance to the new gen. Purchased together with the Odyssey Season Pass or as a standalone title, it's coming to the PC, PS4, and Xbox One on March 2019. And those were the 25 upcoming games for the month of March 2019. And if you love this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to become a certified What to Player. That's pretty much it. See you next time, guys.